watching Market Makers on this Wednesday here in New York City. I'm Eric Schatzker. And I'm Matt Miller. Yahoo! CEO Marissa Meyer has a message for her critics. It's all good. Yesterday, Yahoo! defied expectations by posting an increase in revenue last quarter. Analysts had expected a drop. And Meyer told investors she has a clear turnaround plan that is already starting to work. The shares are up this morning by almost 6%. We're taking a closer look at Yahoo with Deborah Borchardt. She's an analyst from Stansbury Research. Deborah, you have effectively a hold rating on Yahoo shares. Um, what did you make of Meyer's comments on the conference call yesterday? It's as if they were a point-by-point -point rebuttal of everything that Jeff Smith, the activist that Starboard has demanded, without actually saying his name or Starboard's name. Right. Well, like you said, it was all good. And, of course, it's going to be up today because all the headlines said that they beat their estimates and all the algorithms and the computers went in and said bye, 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 bye. So that's why it's up today. But there was a lot Momo. of... There, there were Momentum. A, yeah, there were a lot of things that really troubled me in that call. Ooh. And... I was a little concerned. Do tell. Well, you know, there's that hockey an analogy that you play to where the puck is going to be, not where it's at. And I feel that Yahoo is playing where the puck is at. So They're where Marissa Google Meyer was is five no years Wayne ago. <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. They're so focused on ads right now, and really, ads were the story five years ago. That's not really where it's at now, and you have to look ahead to where the business is going to be five years from now, and that's not what they're doing. What about the fact, she said, we were able to reap some of the fruit, fruits of what we've been sowing over the past few years. Um, and I scratch my head at that because if you've made billions of dollars in acquisitions, shouldn't your revenue rise more than 1.5%? Right, we, we paid a billion dollars for Tumblr and oh yeah, they're gonna make 100 million next year. <laughs> okay, well, that means what, that's gonna take them 10 years to make any money off of Tumblr? You're looking at Google that has YouTube. You're looking at Facebook that has Instagram, WhatsApp. What have they gotten? Tumblr. So they, they basically made, uh, the profit figure looked big, but if you take out um, the gain from the sale of Alibaba, which is like $6.3 billion, they basically made $500 million compared to 297 in the previous quarter. That's not so bad as far as It's not earnings. so bad, but their operating income fell. Now, what's also um, a little troubling, in my opinion, is when she talked about cutting costs, because you know, like you said, the activist investor said, you've got to cut these costs. She said, oh, well, we closed eight offices. We closed Carlsbad. We closed Oshkosh. How, how many people were in those offices? Like, seriously? And you know what also kind of worried me was uh, during the conference call, they were asked, what were your traffic acquisition costs for your mobile users? That's a simple question, right? Well, they, they fumbled their papers and went, oh, well, we don't have that number. We'll call you back later. Oh, right. Like, the CFO doesn't have that number. You know they have that number, and, and it's costing them a ton. So what is the right path forward for Yahoo? Do you agree with Jeff Smith and Starboard Value that they should break up effectively, that uh, investors deserve to realize the gains that are built into the Alibaba stake and the Yahoo Japan stake and we should really be given an opportunity to know what Yahoo's core business is really is truly worth right well I think that what she's doing is is good for the company right now I think that there is a reason to have Yahoo I think we should have an alternative to Google um, and such but I just don't feel that what she's doing is really going to pay off. I think she's spending an enormous uh, amount of money for talent. She's spending an enormous amount of money for content. And I think at some point, these numbers are going to show that she's not really making as much money as she's spending. Well, so what, it's got to be worth more than that chart just showed. I mean, bring that chart back up and take a look at what Yahoo's worth if you take away the value of uh, Alibaba, the stake there, $35 billion. Alibaba, J uh, Yahoo Japan, $7.8 billion. Cash, they have more than $4 billion. Uh, it's got to be worth more than negative $4 billion, right? I mean, I haven't used Yahoo since I was a kid, but I'm sure it is, And there you go. Is, right? and, uh, and when you go to your phone, do you go to Yahoo to do a search? No. Do you go to a not. Yahoo page? I no. mean, you're certainly not going to Yahoo Finance. I have, <laughs> used Flickr. I have used Flickr in the past decade, you know? Yeah, but I, th I, think, I think Google Plus is really So let's, start let's go thing. back okay. to the Wayne Gretzky analogy. Okay. Because, frankly, you could do worse than scoring 92 goals in a season. Um, where is the puck going? What does Marissa Meyer need to be looking at, need to be buying, need to be building in order to compete with where Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and maybe even other platforms are going? I think she has to be really visionary and look at the, the apps that 
are drawing people. If she could afford it, I would go for Pinterest. If she can't afford it, I might pick up somebody young and hip like Yik Yak. I would go for a Yik Yak that is basically an anonymous Twitter. If you have a teenager, you know what Yik Yak is. I would go in that route. So you're for... You, you support the acquisition strategy. That's the way she should go. I, she's going to have to. I mean, she said several times, she talked about how their legacy businesses were holding them back. Their technology was old. She didn't say that once. She said that several times. Well, don't and that forget they had the to make acquisitions. That was holding them back. <laughs> yeah, that was. How about and Snapchat? That. You know, I was surprised that they really did not spend very much time talking about Snapchat. And I think that there's definitely a world out there for Snapchat. And that's really kind of where Yik Yak also fits in is uh, that quick hit uh, type of communication. Tumblr is long form, and we all know that long form really isn't where people are going now on the internet. Thank goodness. Certainly I'm going to check, check out Yik Yak. That sounds like it's right up my alley. If, if, it's you're, if you're 15, what that is definitely if you're up 15 your alley, it is up your alley. All right, perfect for me. Deborah, thanks so much for joining us. Deborah Borchardt from Stansbury Research. When we come back here on Market Makers, finding common ground.